started first uh, i'll make a google firebase project and i will create a database a real time database where we are going to store the values whatever comes from uh, esp32 uh, microcontroller dst11 and dst22 Now let's come to real time database. Create a database. I'm from India so I'm going to choose Singapore as my database center start in lock mode enabled okay so you can see our uh, database a uh, live database uh, will be recorded here now let's change some rules read true we have to edit some permission here so the database can receive and publish the data okay now we have this uh, url let's copy this one let's copy this so this is our esp32 program uh, just if you want to use DST11 okay then just type here DST11 and if you have DST22 then just type here DST22 module okay and now at the moment I'm uh, going with DST22 module as current moment I have only this one DST22 module now copy this one and paste here now we have to give this uh, firebase authentication code as well project settings service accounts Now just to sh show and copy this code, paste here. Okay, the full source code I will provide you uh, in the description, video description. Okay, now it's time to upload this code. Uh, So now our program has been uploading it will take uh, one to two minutes hi so now our program has been uploaded successfully now let's check uh, the firebase project okay so here you can see we are successfully uh, receiving our temperature and humidity data from our ESP32 microcontroller and DST22 modules so guys here you can see we are receiving the live data from our DST22 module in the next video I'm going to make a app uh, using flutter where we will show this humidity and temperature data so user can see uh, 
all the data in the app. I hope you will like this video and you will subscribe this channel as well. Hi everyone, in the last video, we saw how I configured my uh, temperature and uh, humidity sensor with the Firebase. Now, as you can see on the screen, uh, we are receiving the live data of uh, humidity and temperature. Now, uh, I'm gonna make a Flutter app, okay? So, uh, and I will connect uh, the Flutter app with this uh, Google Firebase project. So the user can see the live humidity and temperature data with the good interface, okay? Because you cannot share uh, this thing to any user, okay? It requires some credentials. That's why we are going to make an app uh, technology. We will be using a Flutter, Flutter technology. Now let's get started. <coughs> so, um, command prompt. Now let's create a Flutter project, Flutter create temp and humidity <coughs> okay so flutter project has been created now let's open that project i'm opening with the visual studio code now click on here file open folder Here is the project we just created select this one <clears throat> now we have to connect this uh, flutter project with our firebase project okay so now we are going to integrate uh, them to each other so now come to project settings there are no apps in your project we will go with flutter let me check uh, something. Okay, I'm checking Flutter login. Yes. <coughs> Allow. Okay, so this app is successfully connected with this uh, Firebase account. Okay, now copy this one. Now copy this one and paste here. Here we are going to configure <coughs> this one project, project uh, DST11 and DST22. Select, just enter. All platforms like Android, iOS, Mac OS, Web and Windows has been selected. If you just click enter, okay. So here you can see uh, a file called Firebase uh, underscore options has been created automatically. And now it means that uh, our Firebase project has been successfully configured. Skip this one step. Okay, this code I will provide you in the source code. Okay, so no need to be worried. Just uh, refresh once again. So guys here in this page i'm going to upload a source code the source code uh, you can uh, you can check the youtube description you will get the proper guidance uh, so go and check out now i'm going to upload the source code so guys now uh, our app has been successfully configured now i am going to run this code i'm now i'm going to run my application
So guys, here you can see on the screen, we are now, we can now see the live data. Uh, let me change the screen size. <clears throat> so this is our app we have built using Flutter, okay, which will show the live temperature and humidity data. Now let me see on the real time database. So guys here our project has been successfully configured all the source codes uh, you will uh, get in the video description i hope you will like this video and uh, you will also subscribe this channel as well